Could you help me with something? You will not tell anyone about this. <laughs> we worked really hard to find our way into this movie by looking at the art of the characters. Einar's character, played by Eddie Redmayne, before she's transitioning to Lily, is very kind of melancholy and slightly lonely and painted these very traditional ordered paintings so the architecture was cool it was kind of remote and um, later as Lily emerged and Garda took over as the prime painter they exploded the art exploded and became pinks and yellows and Art Nouveau shapes and curvaceous and sexy and that's what we were trying to reflect with the architecture. David Cohen from Variety here for Artisans. Eve Stewart is nominated for an Oscar for production design for The Danish Girl, Tom Hooper's film about a pioneering transsexual and the wife she left behind in her transition. We're going to call you Lily. <laughs> I'm interested in how you reflect the character's state of mind through design. Well, it, it's quite an interesting process for myself and Tom particularly in that I spend a long time talking to him about the script that's in front of us and we talk about what kind of position they are in their moods and try and find the narrative and it's almost like conducting a piece of music. You'll see that this part the character needs to be alone and reflective and another part the two characters come together and there's a free source and so I try to plot that. I'm an avid illustrator so I'll do reams and reams of little drawings, a little sketch, sometimes just a blob of colour and then I'll put them all around the wall of the art department. And it's amazing how you start to see the narrative and the emotional journey play out with colour and space. I want to sketch you, Lily. Do you do mood boards or anything like that? I think on this particular project, we, we had to come up with it so quickly that um, it was easier in rehearsals particularly for me to have gone out and got accurate furniture. So I went out and bought kind of very early French chairs with all the stuffing falling out and bits of fabric. We could make the characters look like they actually lived there. They got used to where things are. They got used to how chair felt and where it was best to sit, etc. So I think that was my mood board, a living mood board. We see uh, Gerda and Einar in their bedroom, in the scene where she's getting up to work. Do you know what time it is? time you came back to bed. You see their bed, but also the play of light on the ceiling. It's a very high ceiling room, and it's actually kind of a large room for, for two artists. Well, this is the funny thing about being in uh, Denmark and, uh, uh, and Copenhagen particularly, in that all the apartments are huge. They all have these very high ceilings and are very big spaces. And um, I liked the fact that it was actually quite empty in there. We just felt that we wanted a certain type of light to bounce around. We looked a lot at an artist called Hammershoy, who is a contemporary of Einar's in Copenhagen. And those wonderful blues and greys just enhanced that moment, I found. And they kind of, it was a light touch moment where they were happy. They seemed kind of carefree and, and, and we wanted to keep that quite light. We have the ballroom where Lily makes her entrance, where Gerda introduces Lily. It's Lily. <laughs> That's right. Tell us about that ballroom scene. The action is festive, but there's something a little gloomy about the feeling of the, of the space. Oh, good. Well, that's what I was trying to do in terms of trying to reflect that this is the state, as quo in Copenhagen. Attitudes are quite restricted and people have to conform to certain identities. And I think we wanted to show that, so it was very traditional. We also have the scene where Gerda comes back from her event. Wait, did it go well? Tell me, how was it? You'd know if you'd been there. Well, it was interesting. I found that scene really painful. Gerda was mourning the loss of her husband and also her best friend, and they'd been together for so long. I found the claustrophobia of that moment quite good in that it was a certain point of their lives, I felt, within the film that could have been so exciting and so grand and so lovely, and they were making money. Gerda was doing a lot of fashion drawings. Her work was taking off. They could have soared through society, but it was crippled by this kind of very terrible loss and grief. I think the claustrophobia of that helped. I need to see Aina. Let me help, please. I need my husband. Can you get him? 
I can't. Please share this video, click like, and tell us what you think in the comments. We love making these artisans videos, and that's how you can help us keep on making them. To see more on production design, click on the box on the left to see Adam Stockhausen on recreating Cold War Berlin for Bridge of Spies, and click on the box on the right to see Francois Sagan on Brooklyn's dead-on recreation of 1950s Ireland and New York. To never miss an Artisans video, click on the subscribe button, that'll sign you up for the Variety Channel. There's a new Artisans video every week, so come back soon. Thanks for watching.